Now Africa is home to nine subspecies of giraffe. On your left hand side you will see two of them. The one to the right of the feeding trough with that uh, honeycomb like markings, that is a reticulated giraffe from northern Kenya. And the one with that beautiful maple leaf like markings, that is the Maasai giraffe from southern Kenya. Now giraffe hold a couple of world records, the longest legs on land. Look at those long slender legs, up to 67 feet tall. But ladies and gentlemen, they can break a lion's neck with a single kick. Incredible kickers, and the lion will only go for a giraffe if they're lying down or when they're drinking water. Then they are most susceptible to attack. Longest tongue on land, up to 45 centimeters or a foot and a half. The length of a full grown man's forearm. On your right hand side, look at these donkeys. These aren't any donkeys, those are Somali wild ass. Probably one of the most endangered mammals in the world. We estimate their numbers at less than 600 in Somalia. They're being hunted as bush meat. Because as you know, Somalia is pretty war stricken. And uh, a lot of wolf factions are land mining watering holes. So these animals are fortunately take the brunt of it. And then look on your left hand side, you'll see Chuck, our uh, southern white rhino. Look at him, not much difference in color, but look at the size. And then that square mouth, he's got his mouth stuck in the mud there. This is his retirement, he's sired quite a number of offspring, so that's Chuck's retirement. And then this animal at the feeding trough with a little calf. That calf is no more than about three, three and a half weeks old. Uh, East African white bearded gnu, more commonly known as the white bearded wildebeest. There are five species of wildebeest, but these are the ones that you see on television during the Great Treks and the Maasai Mara. And look at the coloration of the little one, that light tan brown coloration. It helps them blend in with their environment. And then those uh, majestic animals under the tree there, those black animals, the notorious African Cape Buffalo. The male is the one on the far right with a thick boss on his skull, that thick horn base. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they are second only to hippos when it comes to human fatalities caused by a mammal in Africa. These are the animals that will actively kill lions. They are the arch enemies of lions. And if you've ever seen that snippet of Battle at uh, Kruger on YouTube, they will save their calves from lions and crocodiles alike. They will gang up against anything which they perceive as a threat. Now they're endangered because of illegal trophy hunting and because of that aggressive nature, they're confined to gay parks and nature reserves. You can't have them close to human settlements. So there's no free flow of uh, genetic material between different populations. And then look at those striking antelope on the left. My second favorite antelope species in the world. Those are Gemsbokke, or South African oryx. Now they're reminiscent of the Kalahari Desert. And when you're out in the desert area, you actually don't have any way to hide from... Uh, predators so they've got those striking markings because it breaks up the outline of the body just like spots on a cheetah do or the rosettes on a leopard there's no place to hide it's better to break up the outline of your body than from afar the predator can't really uh, discern what it is exactly it's looking at incredible they are the fencing champions of the antelope world they know exactly where the tips of those horns are not the kind of animal you want to corner extraordinary runners up to 48 miles an hour but they can maintain that speed for up to an hour very powerful runners. Our articulated giraffe female on our left. Let's try not to make too much noise. She's uh, getting ready to be released into her new enclosure. And then look at those beautiful antelope under the tree on your left hand side coming up. The male with the spiraled horns. The females with the Mickey Mouse ears. Those are greater kudu. Probably one of the most elegant antelope out of Africa. Extraordinary jumpers. When that guy is full grown, he'll weigh about 650 pounds. But he can clear a six-foot fence from a still standing position, no problem. The male also holds a record for the longest horns of any antelope species. They can be up to five and a half to six feet long. Incredible. Beautiful spiraled horns. They are spiraled because they live in very dense bush belt. So the uh, branches of trees can't get cooked in those horns. It slides off almost like a corkscrew effect. And then our guy over here, remember the San Diego Zoo Safari Park is world-renowned for being the first park to captively breed southern wild rhinos and together with the South African government who brought their numbers back from less than 100 in the early 1900s to almost 20,000 today. But this guy over here, ladies and gentlemen, takes some nice photographs. This is Angelifo. He's a northern wild rhino. There are only eight left. And this species, unfortunately, will be extinct in our lifetime. We just do not have enough genetic material to ensure their survival as a species. We have two over here, there's two in the Czech Republic, 
and four in Kenya under 24 armed guard surveillance. This is what happens when uh, conservation efforts are realized too late. Very sad. Remember these two animals, two of the happiest animals in the world. They don't know that they are only two of eight left. This is a retirement. We can't breed with Nola and Angelifo. Angelifo is the male you saw there because uh, she's too old. She's about 38 uh, years of age and they only grow to be about 45. Those striking antelope you see across the valley there on the hill, those are rowan antelope, one of the few species that will stand up to a lion attack. Notice the male or the bull with the very vivid markings on the face. Both sexes have horns. When you see that in antelope, it means both of them are territorial. They will protect their territory from other members of the same species. And uh, both sexes will actually help protect the calves from predators. Those short, stocky horns are driven by a very powerful neck. Incredible antelope. They are called the largest of the horse-type antelope because the ancient Greeks used to believe they are a mix between an antelope and a horse.